This is Chapter 8, Multi-Chapter Booklet. We're working on Stage 1, Combining Documents into Books. These are books like textbooks, where there's multiple chapters, the chapters are probably written by different people, and then they're combined into a final multi-chapter book. It's a good way of organizing everything. So our InDesign book that we're going to create is simply a container file into which multiple InDesign files are placed for easier organization and management. With these files together we can synchronize our styles, we can synchronize our other assets, we can monitor the section numbering for each file in the book, we can build a table of contents, we can build an index, and we can print an entire book or we can output selected chapters. You're going to be working with the excerpts files so take that folder and expand that into your WIP folder. In InDesign go to File, New, and this time instead of a document you're going to create a new book. Navigate to your folder and you're going to save the book as excerpts. And you can see that we have a new dialog box that is your book dialog box. If you select the Add Documents button, you can navigate to your WIP excerpts folder and you'll see that there are some files that are available to us. Select the Color 1 file and click Open. Click the Add Documents button again and select the Design 1 file and click Open. Now we're going to create a new file by opening the Companion Template file. In your Pages panel, drag the F Title Page Parent Page icon onto Page 1. Press Control Shift and with your Selection Tool, click on the text for Book Title to detach it from the Parent Page. And then with your Text Tool, highlight Book Text and replace the text with Companion Excerpts. With your Selection Tool, resize the text box so that Companion Excerpts appears on one line and shorten the text box up so that it's just a little bit past the S. Then save your file as Front Matter in your Excerpts folder. Back in the Book panel, click the plus sign to add Front Matter to the book. Now that's the front matter, so we need that in the front. So click on it and hold and drag to the top above color 1. Then click the Save the Book button at the bottom of the panel. I'm not sure if you noticed, but as we moved front matter to the top of the stack, the page number shifted. So front matter is on page 1, as it should be. Color is on pages 2 through 9 and design 10 through 16. They work in sequence. The problem arises in that for traditional books with chapters, not novels, but in textbooks and so on, our chapters would always start with a right-hand read or an odd numbered page. So we're going to fix that. In our options panel we're going to select book page numbering options and 
when we change from one file to another, we want to check to continue on the next odd page. So we would then insert a blank page into each section and make sure that automatically update page and section numbers is checked. And then you can click OK to apply that. And if you watch, our pages have now adjusted themselves. This has helped and it's all well and good, but traditionally because front matter would be like the inside right in front of inside the cover kind of thing, we don't generally use the same numbering that we would normally put on page numbers. We want to use the Roman numerals because that's a little more traditional. So we're going to go back in again to our options menu and find document numbering. And notice I've got the front matter selected. So for that one, we are going to choose for page numbering the lowercase Roman numeral style. And we're going to apply that change. So you can see that our front matter is now going to be assigned Roman numerals and then it will swap over without losing page numbers. We're going to convert over to the traditional numbers. That solves part of our problem, but tradition would dictate that the first content chapter would begin on page one. So we put the Roman numerals and then we convert over to starting with page one at the full content. And so we're going to go into color one, right click the page three icon in the pages panel, and we're going to choose numbering and section options. And we're going to change our start page numbering here to page one. Now reviewing in here, front matter is on one and two in the preface format, and then color one is one through eight, and design one is nine through 16. Save that open file and close it. In the book panel, save your book and remember to save the book in the book panel as well. Make sure you have read the section and chapter numbering in depth page on 516 in your book, which makes a deeper dive into how and why we number pages the way we do. One advantage of using the InDesign book building functionality is the ability to synchronize various assets your swatches, your styles, and so on, across multiple chapters so that there is consistency throughout the publication. When a book is synchronized, the assets in the style source file are applied to all the other files. If an asset in the style source file does not exist in other book files, it's simply added to the other files. If an asset already exists in another book file, then that definition from the style source is applied to the same named element in the other files. We're going to synchronize the assets in the companion excerpts files to ensure that the highlight color has the same definition in all the files and the appearance of textiles is consistent throughout the document. Double click the front matter file to open that document, which should be still open. Open the swatches panel. and then open the Swatch Options dialog box for the companion color swatch. Change the swatch definition to C is 70, M100, Y is 0, and K is 0. Click OK to accept the color change. Save the document and close it. But leave the book panel open.
Now the book isn't talking about this, but when I do this, I get a warning that tells me that that was modified outside of the book. I'm going to go ahead and make front matter my style source. And then I'm going to deselect all the files. And then in my book panels option, I'm going to choose synchronize options. Deselect everything except for character styles, paragraph styles, and your swatches should be selected. And select synchronize. Synchronization may cause some text in color one to become overset. We know that's a problem and we're going to say okay to that. Don't know why it does it, but we do know it does. So we'll take a look and see what's changed. We're going to open the color one document and we have the change to the purple color, but we're going to need to go to page eight and check, yes, we have overset text. So go to page seven, select the entire last paragraph and change the tracking in there to a negative 10. So let's go into our, there's our properties panel and let's change the tracking to minus 10. That brought the last word picture from page eight to page seven. So let's go now to the next page and see if we have solved that problem. And yes, we have. Save that document, save the book file, close the document, and we will continue with the next stage.